All right, so today is day 28. Um, this morning, uh, uh, took and uh, me and the wife went to the Waffle House. And, all right, so today, me and the wife are at the Waffle House, and uh, it is packed packed to the gills here and it's very noisy so snuck off to the bathroom so I could get in a conversation but uh, I ordered the uh, chicken melt again with uh, double order hash brown scattered smothered covered chunk just like last time and uh, that is breakfast for this morning it is close to 11 a.m. and uh, yeah, let's go eat some of that. And, uh, you see what I got there? Uh, got my usual, or one of my usuals. I don't always get that, but uh, the grilled chicken sandwich, uh, the chicken melt is what it's called. With the same double order hash browns um, that I normally get with the ham and onions and cheese in there, and uh, before that this morning I ate uh, one of those uh, grocery store small frozen pizzas. So it was a combination pizza. It was. Uh, just under 300 calories or just over I can't remember which which doesn't really matter because <laughs> I'm not measuring calories anyway right now um, I have said all along that at some point I may implement doing that and uh, it's looking more likely when I'm going into February next month that that might be a route that I take I'm just not sure yet I may do that or I may do uh, something else. We'll see when that day comes, which is just a few days away, actually. Uh, it is, like I say, over and over again, it's been a real stressful week dealing with one vehicle. Um, <laughs> when uh, your schedule that you're used to and someone else's collide together can make it difficult and challenging mentally and uh, <coughs> emotionally toward uh, pursuing the things that uh, pursuing that the way that I normally would uh, the hours that I normally would eat would uh, sometimes be earlier or later or uh, less food uh, especially in the afternoon um, so after you know eating that pizza and the Waffle House this morning um, both were within my uh, my intermittent fasting uh, protocol window of uh, eight hours um, later this afternoon we went to the Mexican restaurant and that is the uh, one that I've been to in the past uh, I got a little bit different dish this time uh, grilled chicken and rice but those come with two um, tortilla shells and I filled both of those up with the chicken and rice and ate those. Uh, we uh, had uh, some of that uh, queso cheese dip, uh, the white cheese dip that you get at the Mexican restaurants and we uh, both ate some of that. I didn't eat too much of that but I did eat a lot of uh, nachos with uh, the hot salsa and uh, what I couldn't fit in my tortilla shells I took and uh, 
scooped off of the plate with uh, <laughs> with nachos. So I, I ate a lot of nachos, which is probably was probably not a good thing. I probably might have overdone it again. But again, we were done eating before four o'clock. It's five fifty-one now, so I've been about two hours without food, but. Uh, I'm not sure how calorie deficit affects uh, things when you're doing it uh, uh, <clears throat> the way I'm doing it. I mean, I'm sure it does. I, I've seen people on YouTube, you know, some of the experts out there talk about how it does. Uh, but uh, I've said all along that uh, this month was going to be about eating whatever in the heck I wanted. I think the proper term I used was eating whatever in the hell I wanted. <laughs> and uh, sticking to the intermittent fasting protocol. I wanted to get that in place. And I am very used to that protocol now. So that being said, since I am used to it I will uh, continue that along with uh, implementing something else into next month to speed up the process of the weight loss or to help me uh, do things in a more uh, productive way than I did this month um, <clears throat> I'm going to ride out these next two days just like I did today. Uh, I thought about today just uh, eating one meal and letting that be it for today uh, to try and uh, speed up results by Monday, but I decided against that. That is not what I set out to do. I set out to see how much I could lose eating whatever I wanted between uh, January the 1st all the way to January the 31st which will be Monday <laughs> just so happens it falls on the day I weigh in so what will the scale say I'm a little worried about it because uh, I know um, a few weeks back when the wife didn't have a lot of her morning clients we uh, went out together a lot that week and uh, I ate some desserts and things like that and by the time we in came I didn't lose uh, I did lose I lost one pound is all I lost it was only one pound of weight loss during that week uh, and I was happy for it considering the fact that all that I did and honestly I feel like uh, I am ahead of the schedule for the month. If I was to be doing a normal calorie deficit or anything like that, the, the normal weight loss I think is anywhere from two to three pounds a week and uh, being close to 17 pounds of weight loss overall is even if the month was over already I would still be ahead of the game so to speak. So. <laughs> Uh, and that's actually pretty big so but it, the diet here lately you know with uh, the eating of the Chinese food uh, and uh, the Mexican food today it seemed like maybe I might have overdone a little bit I could be just uh, it, it could all just be mental in my mind uh, I don't know we will know Monday when I weigh in on the scale I'm a little concerned because yeah I had like before I have snuck in some weigh-ins and I'm not crazy about the results I am seeing and uh, I, honestly I could have uh, cheated and uh, made the results go in the direction that I wanted them to go but I want people to see uh, exactly how this uh, affected me uh, in case anyone is ever you know out there and decides to check out my content to see if uh, 
what I'm doing would be something that they would be interested in doing in the beginning. Now, with that being said, I feel like uh, I was pretty extreme in the obese range. Starting out at 328 pounds is uh, uh, very obese for me. So, I feel like uh, eating whatever I wanted in the beginning, you know, in the first uh, three weeks or so was uh, enough it was sustainable enough to keep me losing weight throughout the month but I think my body is getting to a point where it is used to what I'm doing and I may have to be a little more extreme on uh, what I'm doing going forward uh, come Monday but we will see we'll see what that scale says because uh, like I say it's been an emotional week too the emotional part of uh, sharing one vehicle with someone and uh, that type of thing you know really uh, really plays into to you to your head real good I and mean, it plays into you, you your psyche you know uh, and, and uh, I know that can affect uh, how things reflect on the scale as well but uh, I don't think I'm gonna have as good a result uh, this way in coming up as I have uh, as I did this past weekend where I lost uh, met close to four or five pounds you know <sighs> but at the same time uh, I have really really enjoyed this and I plan on finishing out uh, the way I started so I've got two more days of that and Monday we will see I promise you the next today and uh, Saturday and Sunday are <laughs> well not today today's over today's pretty much over but Saturday and Sunday these last two days of the day before Monday I will continue to push forward the way I have been eating uh, this entire month and the chips are gonna fall where they lie and uh, what it tells me and I'll tell anyone else who follows me that uh, this is doable it does work but I don't think it's it is I don't think it's sustainable for the long term I think uh, going forward I will have to uh, either I don't know uh, I'm thinking of maybe calorie counting uh, next month to see how that will work along with the intermittent fasting or maybe do an alternate day fast one of those two things haven't decided yet if I do the alternate day fasting I can uh, I plan on doing uh, one meal every other day and two meals every other day if that makes sense so one meal one day two meals the next back to one meal and then repeat 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 uh, that's my idea going forward but uh, that brings this day to a close we will see you tomorrow until then you have a good one mm -hmm.